Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the station. Just getting my cup of joe, checking the old interwebs. Make sure we're all good to go. I'm warming up my car. It's actually kind of chilly. It's starting to be a little bit of fall weather, so it, it was 60 when I'm getting out here. It's going to warm up to like 80 today. I got a little chills going. Anyway, it's going to be a good day. I'm going to go hit my favorite spot, which is really close to the station here, my favorite spot to, to get people, and I'm also going to be in an unmarked car today, so very nice. I love the, uh, the lights and everything. Looks really cool from the rear, and we'll be in the Charger SRT this thing he's quick boys she is quick love it i love these new cars we're actually gonna get two more and then i think we're gonna have like a total of six which is plenty we like we won't we probably won't use anything else unless we're going on like certain missions or we have certain things going on that we're like hey we need we need a big four by four big truck for like clearance or we're going on gravel roads or what have you we still we still might use the patrol trucks or i'm trying to think of other situations say uh winter conditions we'll use the trucks way more than the chargers so i totally take that back but here is my favorite favorite spot to or no sorry this isn't it but yeah sorry right here i like to pull in to this little grass area i'm not really in the way of anybody else and uh, i can kind of hide right here and people come right along so these perfect people can still like come in here and like make their turn people like coming down here going into uh or onto iris Ave. it's not a big deal but highway 18 we get a lot of speeders and a lot of people flying down this hill now, really, I'm not in the perfect position to get people from doing that. But what I don't want is somebody coming down here, taking a right hand turn. And if I were like hiding behind this bush, they could hit me. So for safety reasons, I'm going to be over here and we will just wait it out. It's going to be a good one. I was just looking here on one of our wanted lists in a guy that I pulled over two weeks ago who got away from me. Okay, that guy's flying and he's got no tags. All right, let's go. Here we go. All right, we lit him up here. He was cooking good. Look. Oh, my goodness. Did he accelerate? I cannot. All right. We're, okay. There he is. There he is. He should be able to hear and see my lights here soon. Okay. We're on him. All right. He was flying. I got him at going 57 and a 45 and he has no... Okay. This guy's he pulling over. He better pull over. Okay. I think he's slowing down. All right. Yep. He sees me. All right. I think maybe this is an old timer. Usually the old timers got a... Uh, they don't got too heavy of feet, but some, sometimes they do. All right. So it looks like he's got no tags and then, yep, I got him clocked here. I'm going to go ahead and see what's up with them. Are there any cars coming? Nope, we're good. Good morning, sir. I got you going at 57 on my uh, little speedometer there. And and then also we have no license plates. So go ahead and give me license registration if you have any. Um, and we'll get you sorted out. And also your ID. All right. Well, I talked with him some more. And the situation is this guy actually just purchased this truck. And he had the bill of sale. He had the title. He had everything in there. And that he was actually on his way to the county courthouse to go ahead and get the plates get his registration all taken care of so he's actually good to go now i just gave him a warning for speeding and he said uh and it actually does open up here soon he hates he he, he wanted to get there early this morning so he was speeding um to get there because i know there's huge lines sometimes and they're super inefficient but heck i just i gave him a warning it seemed like a good guy so, so there he goes really and he was a young guy. I thought he was old, but he was young. And he just said he never, and I, he never saw me. He was going quick. It took me a little bit to get going. So it's all good. I'm going to head back into town here, guys. And we will, uh, I'm going to get out of that spot. And we're going to go patrol the Wisconsin Iowa bridge over the river. So it should be good. That one, I get everybody because it's 25 coming in down into town and everybody goes like 40 on the bridge and it's just really dangerous. So it's good I'm there and we can get the regulars to know like to slow down and we still get the occasional people from out of town that are just flying and that's when we pull them over. All right, guys, I just got done with the speeding ticket on the bridge here. I literally rolled up, got in position, I think 30 seconds. Some guy just came booking over in, a, uh, in like a really nice, like in like two or three year old Corvette. So that was kind of cool. Um, nice guy though. I just gave him a warning and he, he, he was in a rush and I don't like to give people tickets unless they go like crazy over it, but it was what the semi police on it lights is Peterbilt. What is that? Please mobile command center. What the heck? All right. I am going to, what is going on? I'm going to, I have my lights on. Let's go follow him. I'm just going to fall behind, give him an escort. I'm not, I've never seen this before. Yeah, let me call in radio real quick. All right, radio has no idea what's going on, doesn't know anything about it, and, and didn't even understand what I was asking. So this must be something beyond McGregor de Police Department. This must be Fed. This must be a federal FBI something. But I kind of it just said it. all I saw was command center on the side. So, and he's moving pretty quick to be pulling that with. He's. I mean, I'm having trouble keeping up. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and follow him here. Make sure nobody, uh, nobody. I'm just, I'm gonna follow him. I'm super curious. So I'm gonna try and figure this out and see, see what is going on. I'm not sure where he's going. Is he gonna pull into our police station? I don't know. Is Captain doing something for us? And we don't know. I have no idea. I don't know why we need a mobile command center now. And I, I've never been in one. Maybe there's some sort of fugitive, something going on that I just don't know about. But I'm gonna follow it. Let's get it figured out. Kind of worries me. All right. Now, if he goes. If he goes like a ways, I'll follow him here for like 20 minutes. But if he's just scooting out of town, I thought, you know what? I'll just stick with him here um, in case it is here. And I, I, I like need to know what's going on, going on in my town for sure. And I tried all my radio channels. I couldn't pick up on this truck. Couldn't like radio him in. I'm sure he's got a radio and stuff. So they must they must be on some frequency that I can't get a hold of. All right, here it is. He's pulling in. It's the, here we yeah, pulling in here. So he's not gonna be he's not gonna be going out of town. Let's see, is he going to this cattle farm? All right, he's pulling in and there's, there's a, there's a unmarked police truck right there. There's a bunch more. Okay, what is going on? We have to figure this out and get to the bottom of this. It looks, I don't know if I'm supposed to, I'm, I'm going to be here. You know, I'm sheriff in town, but this is, uh, this is a little different. We got a bunch of, a few, a bunch of unmarked cars. I'm going to pull off on the side here and see if I can talk to somebody. Hey, sir, how's it going? What's up? Uh, nothing much. I just saw you roll through town over the bridge, and I'm uh, I'm Sheriff Spencer here, and I am the I'm the sheriff in McGregor here. And can I help you guys with anything? What is, what's going on here? I didn't hear anything. Nobody on radio. Can't tell you everything, but I can tell you some stuff. Yeah, here go. Do do you need? Yeah, let me let yeah. me turn on my truck and jump out. Yeah, any way I can help you guys? What agency are you with? With the FBI. Holy biscuits! Is something going on? Crazy? Something happen here up down to the ground we okay. have to protect it what's underneath this farm has something under the ground yes can i ask what it is i or is that not right now at this time we cannot tell you okay okay well um uh is there anything i can do help you guys i can get some deputies down here make sure nobody comes driving by or that, is it yeah that would help a little bit okay i was thinking i'd bring two deputies up and we can stay on watch it looks like you guys already got a bunch of units down or do you have more coming yeah. i mean holy. we have a little bit more coming too mobile command center yeah if i could uh i would love to help man i always you know when i was in school and training i always wanted to be a detective but they said i could never do it this is my time to shine you know what i'm saying man yep it's a hard job it is okay. A lot well, harder than yours. If you, it, what? It's a lot harder than yours. Than mine, man. Come on, man. What? Well, well I would love to help. To people, get to not tell anyone anything. Okay, well, go ahead. Get this. Can I look inside or something, man? Yeah, I can open it. Up. Okay, that'd be cool. Or is this where you're setting up? Yeah, we're setting up right here. Okay. Holy biscuits! Check this thing out, and it opens up. Oh my goodness! Mobile command center. The side opens. Holy. You guys got, you guys, you got to tell me what's going on, man. I, I will have to call into my boss to okay. make sure. Hey, hey man, all, my all reason. Me, I, my boss told me I didn't tell you. Okay. Yeah. I, who can I not, I won't tell anybody or who can I and can I not tell? Basically, you have to keep it a little there. We don't want people to know. Okay. I have it fine now. And so they're gold under the ground. Like, okay. Uh, Federal, like uh, gold bar, like yes. real gold gold? Yes. Holy. How much? A lot. And it's underneath... I mean, I don't really underneath where that those trucks are. Okay, so they were stolen. Yes. Okay, and yeah, no, I I have I can I got all the footage. I mean, I'm sure you guys already have it already, but I can yep. I can run through out of any of my deputies if they saw anything crazy. I mean, how much gold are we talking that they moved? Um, I don't remember the exact amount. Okay. Uh, like are we we're talking millions? Are we talking like hundred million? Hundred million. Holy biscuits and gravy! So we're sitting on a gold mine. Holy. Yes. Holy. Okay, and this is where all the work's gonna be done. Oh my goodness, man. I need to yep. get me one of these. Holy biscuits. This is awesome. Well, if you need anything from me, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be around. I can help out a bunch. And I'm sure you're getting a bunch of guys, uh guys working and stuff. I'm sure you probably don't need me, but I can get like footage. I can talk to the locals, try and figure out if they saw cause how would you move that much gold? I mean, you're gonna need big trucks, big right? Big trucks, yep. Okay, so I wonder and when did you find out? Today? Like I yeah, yeah, true there. Okay, okay, well. I'm going to head. Do you need anything from me right now? No, not at the time. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to head back, be patrol, and I'm going to. So I'm going to ask my deputies if they've seen anything weird. I won't tell them what's going on unless you give me the okay, but I'll try and see if anybody saw anything. Yeah, I tried to keep it a little bit a secret. Okay. Don't... Keep it on the DL. We don't want someone to tell someone else, and then now we're yeah. having trouble. For sure. And like it gets out to the public and stuff that. 
There's a bunch of gold underneath here. I absolutely understand. So I'll keep it on the DL. I won't tell any media too. Nice meeting you, man. I'll be around. See ya. All right, that was pretty crazy. I'm happy he told me I'm going to figure out a way to get in on this. I'm not sitting by watching this happen underneath my fingertips. No, it's the FBI. Like, I really don't have jurisdiction. They came in. They took over. It's their property. God dang. They won't see the last of me. I'm coming back. I'm going to help out, and I'm going to figure out where this gold was taken. First, I'm going to go through, get all the businesses' cameras in the parking lot, and I'm going to try and figure out. So all the gold has to weigh a bunch. Now, if I can figure out, like, what semi-trucks... You could roughly see, like, if they're squatting a bunch. I mean, how they had to move $100 million of gold. That is so much weight. And I'm going to see farmers. I'm sure they're doing a lot of their own investigation and stuff. But I'm going to go back, talk to the deputies, see if I can figure something out, and start running the tapes. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. today's episode. If you didn't, make sure to smash the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, we are going to get to the bottom of this. There's going to be more to come. They won't see the last of me. So make sure to stay tuned. There's probably going to be more videos. We're going to figure out exactly where this gold went. So like I said, smash the like button and we will get another one out here. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.